Hey YouTubers and YouTubies, sorry the camera is bouncing around and you're seeing all kinds of stuff. I do not look like a diva right now, sorry about that, I'm working on that. We are in the process of making the meal that is a crock pot meal that is going to take pretty much all day. It's uh, a southwest chicken recipe and these are the ingredients. You're going to have one package, two pounds chicken. Now we're doubling everything up so that would be four pounds of chicken and in this bag that I have the picture of for this company specific you get three pounds so you know do whatever. <laughs> but anyway uh, one yellow pepper but I've added um, all the peppers, bell pepper colors that you can find because that's really the only reason you're adding yellow is for color. Um, it says one can of black beans. Uh, you're going to have them drain and rinsed. And uh, we're doubling up, like I said, so I have two cans. Uh, one jar of salsa at 16 ounces, so for doubling that'd be 32. One brick of low fat cream cheese or fat free, which I use, same flavor to me. Um, eight ounces, we're doubling up again, so that would be two. So we're starting this. Let me go ahead and show you what we're doing. Crock pot with the chicken in it. Now this is frozen chicken that you put down in the bottom. Let me read the directions. In a large slow cooker, put the chicken in the bottom and top with salsa, which we haven't done yet, yellow pepper or all your peppers, and black beans. Uh, and you're going to rinse and drain those black beans so they're not going to have any juice on them. Don't bother simmering it, it'll take care of itself. Let cook for 10 hours on low. 10 hours, we're gonna have to put it on high. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna be here for 10 hours. <laughs> About 30 minutes before serving, place the brick of cream cheese on the top. I cube it, I would cube it so that it melts spreads out. out. Yeah, it goes and does what it needs to do. And let it melt into the mixture. It yields two pounds for four ounce serving. For those of us who are bariatric patients, for everybody else, they just take a chicken breast. Uh, you'll get 138 calories, 17 grams of protein, 7 grams of carbohydrates. That's a really good carb count there. 4 grams of fat. And this diet stage for this for us bariatrics is solid. So this is not something anybody wants to do right after surgery. This is my beastie. Say something. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Beastie. <laughs> She's funny. What's your real name? Tammy. Tammy. That, and on that channel I made, that's uh, she's the other person on that channel that I have that has been answering some stuff for people on the um, emails and the video responses for people signing up for the channel and everything. As you can see, like I said, she likes to cook. Now I'm not making it's her do this. It's my favorite thing. I told you it's her favorite thing. It's her, like her favorite hobby. <laughs> so she's going to be putting it all together. Chopping up the peppers right now. There's the beans. I do everything Walmart, like I said. Here's some cream cheese and the salsa. I got a big old industrial thing of salsa. The food processor is here in this picture because we're going to be making some fake cauliflower rice later. That's for another video. And as well, a, um, a, a light lunch wrap. But that's it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and we'll get back to that later as we do more. I did have the big crock pot. Right now, Tammy's putting in four cups of salsa because we're doubling up. So it would be two cups if you're doing it the one serving way that the instructions require. But we're doing this for two families, so we're making this doubled. So that's four cups of salsa she's putting in there right now that goes on the top of the chicken. Then the yellow pepper, or all the pepper because it's just for color. And then the uh, black beans will go on top of that. Just to prove to you I do know how to cook. That's me. <laughs> Cutting these uh, peppers julienne style. Do I like cooking? Heck no. <laughs> Why? She really doesn't. I really don't. <laughs> Why? Um, because it takes too much time away from me in my everyday life for me to do this. Do I enjoy eating? Oh yeah. I, I really enjoy eating. That's obvious because I'm a big girl. Um, but uh, I, I really, I've never liked cooking. I've never liked doing that. 
And it's probably because at the age of nine, I had to do it for myself early on, and I really kind of didn't do it very well. So most of my uh, recipes that I would make, although I learned how to make stuff very good, like biscuits, scratch-made biscuits, scratch-made pancakes, um, all kinds of little things like macaroni I made differently than everybody else would make. Um, I did them very well. I just didn't like doing it because I was doing it at such an early age for myself. Now Tammy here, this is her thing and I don't get cooks. I don't understand why you people like to cook. Why is that? I don't know. I just like to cook. I, you like to eat? Yeah, but not as much. She's as not I as like much an cook. eater. She is a cooker. I like to cook. I don't like to eat <laughs> that much. Two people on polar extremes of each other. <laughs> it's a good. Whoops! It's a good thing we got a big fat crock pot. Yeah. See now we're putting these peppers. Need a big crock pot for this. Cause... Putting these peppers on top of the on top of the um, salsa, and the next thing that goes in is going to be these beans, which you drain and rinse. So there's none of that juice goes in there. And that adds the protein besides the chicken that we're looking for, for us gastric by, uh, gastric bypass, gastric surgery patients. I had to sleep. I have gastric sleeve. After that, 10 minutes before, or 30 minutes, or whatever that direction said, let me see, 30 minutes before you serve it, you put in some Great Value cream cheese, and again, we've doubled this recipe, so we have two. For those of you who have two people or three people, one, one uh, version, or not doubling a half of this is fine. See why they want you to rinse them. Lyman. Well, there's a lot of starch in that yeah. juice. And you don't need that extra, that's the extra fluid you have to cook as well when they're, when you dump that in there. And obviously you don't use that fluid and there's no other fluid added. I know, it seems kind of strange, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, if you're doing oh, it with chicken. the frozen chicken, it comes with that water on it, so. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah. But it doesn't say to use frozen chicken. As you can see, the black beans are going on. I'm already hungry. Did you eat breakfast? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's probably why. I have not eaten breakfast. Come over here, Aiden. Come over here, Grandma. So I can see you on it. That is my half beast piece. Say hello to the camera, Aiden. Say hello. Say hi. He's our official taste tester child. He's going to be tasting the dinners and the foods we make to see if they're any good. You like beans? Yeah. Are you going to eat this? Yes, you are. You like black beans, don't you? He likes chicken, too. Oh, yeah. There's chicken in this. You like rice? Uh-huh. I'm going to make some rice later. Huh? How come you're letting the beans come on your hand? Um, we're rinsing them off. And there goes the second can. Now, we lid it up like so. And Michelle goes to, uh, ta da! I do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Checking on the dinner as it is cooking. How many hours has it been? Mm -hmm. 9 30, 10 30, hour and a half. Hour and a half. And the beans still look like beans. These are getting a little, they're still a little tough, so it's not ready yet. It's actually not very hot in there. But it's not ready yet, folks. Gotta have some more time. <laughs>